All right, coach, introduce yourself and let's get going. I am Keyshawn Davenport, the head women's basketball coach of you or you and no proper tennis. Coach, this morning was a it was a date. <laughs> it was a date. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh man, you know you just gotta be ready for those type of mornings. Things happen, and uh, I wake up every morning saying, you know what? I don't have to coach. I get to coach. So this comes along with the get to coach job. You gotta be ready for obstacles, and it's all about when life gives you lemons. You roll those things up, grab some Splendor Sugar, and you make some lemonade. And that's what I did this morning. You, I became a travel agent this morning. Remind me of my assistant coach, coaching days. And been there, been it there. actually reminded me of my Katrina coaching days when I had to call the travel agents and make so many different arrangements just to get where we needed to get. So it really didn't throw me off. It just shifted me into another mood that I, I was familiar with. And everybody needs that experience at least once. Absolutely, absolutely. But we're here. We're here. We made it. All right. Practice is going on. The privateers have got new folks coming in. How are freshmen adjusting to Division One? You know, we have two freshmen. We have three junior college players. And I think all five of our newcomers are really, really transitioning in well. You know, as any freshman, you have that period where you don't know your head from your toes. And I think that's why it's so important to have this summer school that we have now to give them that period of acclimation, of going to class and study hall and waking up early for weights and workouts. And um, I think they're doing extremely well, you know. Um, every other day you, you see freshmen you know you're gonna see freshmen come out of the freshmen every other day I see the newcomers uh, come out of the newcomers so it's just one day at a time and the great thing is even though we don't have the experience that left last year we have a great group of returners that wrap their arms around those five that are just coming in and really help them to understand our culture of hard work and help them to understand the exits and O's of things now that we're in practice and I really think that that has been beneficial to them in this transitional period. Non-conference schedule. Kids don't realize it, but it's another piece of evaluation setting up for conference play. Absolutely. I, I, the way that I schedule non-conference is the respect that I have for conference. I think that we have to get ready um, for night in, night out battles in the Southland Conference. So we have to have a, a, a preseason or a non-conference schedule that really prepares us for that. When I say prepare us, it's not so much um, Power 5 schools, so on and so forth. It's the scheme of things. We go play teams that play us all zone. We go play teams that press a lot. We go play teams um, that you know, one triangle and twos and one four flats and horn, horn sets and all of that prepares us for conference. It prepares us for what we're going to see when we play Lamar and they press the whole time. It's going to prepare us for when we see three-point shooters at ACU. So it's so important that we get a non-conference schedule that really helps us prepare for conference so when these newcomers and the players that are returning who didn't have a lot of playing experience last year, that they're not shocked when they get in conference, it's not the first time that they're being pressed extremely hard or they're going up against three-point shooters or they're facing a big post. So we're looking forward to it. I think it's going to be challenging, but we're going to take it one game at a time and just focus on uh, the process, not the end result. 18 games scheduled in the conference. Got to win games at home. But on the road is where you find out who you are. Absolutely. Uh, that was seen last year. I always tell them, hold your home court, you know, protect the ship. We the pirates, uh, the privateers, and we have a ship. So we say protect the ship, you know, get those nine games at home, and then you have to get on the road and you have to get some wins on the road. And you know, nothing was bigger than us getting won for the first time in Conway last year against the defending champions. When you get those type of wins on the road, it really does something for the morale of your team, for the confidence of your team, and then it just helps you be in a better standing in the end when it comes down to getting to Katie. So definitely got a whole home court, protect the ship, but we have to be able to be solid world warriors as well. With that, let's shift over to the campus. What's Tell folks what is going on at UNO that 
folks don't know, because you know New Orleans has a lot of schools down <laughs> in the area. It's, Tulane ain't just a, the, the only one there. You know what? We are the University of <laughs> New Orleans. We wear the city name on our chest, so it's absolutely always something going on. At UNO. I just love that our school is so diverse and you know in the fall semester you might have something like swamp volleyball. Who does that? UNO does that. You know you have pits full of mud and you know so much student uh, involvement and having fun but you know now that the fall is rolling in and the, the season is changing there'll be some outdoor uh, movies. There'll be a lot of campus involvement of the organizations you know because we are diverse there's always something to do and I always encourage my student athletes to get involved in the organization outside of women's basketball so that they can be a part of that uh, student body on campus don't let your team be the only people that you know why you're at you know <laughs> you got to get to know uh, some other people so I always encourage them join another organization you know one that does not interfere with basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say that. <laughs> All right, coach. Yeah. With that, reintroduce yourself. We'll close this out. Again, I am Keyshawn Carter, that report, the head women's basketball at University of New Orleans. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm going to say that again. I am Keyshawn Carter Daffin for the head women's basketball coach at the University of New Orleans. This is Jerry Lee Woolley Jr., the College Sports Report here in Houston, Texas, Southland Conference Basketball Media Day.